In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a slideshow video with narration using Windows Live Movie Maker. Hi, my name is David, and if this is your first time watching my videos, kindly consider subscribing. Ron asked me if, uh, from a comment uh, recently, thanks a bunch, really cool info. Do you know how to put different images at different segments of the audio so you get something like a narrated slideshow? Now I'm trying to answer this question uh, and it's uh, pretty simple. So uh, just uh, so you know, I still use Google old Windows 7. I've never upgraded to Windows 10 uh, or even Windows 8. Uh, so bear with me if you're using uh, Windows 10, there's an application that is equivalent to this, which is the Windows Photos app, uh, but I don't like it at all. So I've just seen it uh, on my friend's computers, but I've never used it. So I, I still use Windows Live Movie Maker. So for the purposes of this video, if you're using any other application other than Windows 7, then uh, please uh, forgive me for this. Uh, so uh, let's begin. So I'm going to open up uh, Windows Live, Live Movie Maker. And uh, uh, you also need to have your audio narration ready uh, and the photos that you want to use or the slides that you want to use in, in, in a form of photos. So uh, this is the interface of Windows Live Movie Maker. And uh, all you need to do is either just click here uh, or just click here. So just click here to browse for videos and photos. Uh, and since I already have uh, the folder with the slides or the photos ready, I'll just uh, uh, select uh, Control A to select all the files and then click on Open. And once I click on open, uh, one thing I want you to notice is that it defaults to about 35 seconds. Now this is because each slide or each uh, image or picture here is set to a default of seven seconds. So if, if, when you hover over an image, you'll see seven, a duration of second, seven seconds, and you'll see that there are no transitions or anything. So uh, the next thing we need to do, we need to import or add our music or narration. So it's, it's just written as add music. And we can just click on this. So if you have your narration file, you can still add that. Let's go to our folder, desktop H, and just check out that how to create a slideshow. I have an audio file here, uh, which is a narration. Uh, so you can just check it out. Just click on open. Uh, and by default, you'll notice that although the audio file is four minutes, 40 seconds and 54, the full video is going to be 35 seconds because it conforms to the slides that you have. Now, one thing that you need to do is that you need to change uh, the length to conform to the audio that you've put. That is either if it's your narration or even your music. So you just come to project and then say fit to music. Now, once I click on this, see what will happen. Now, once I hit fit to music, by default, the images I had, and this is image one, is sent to a duration or adjust to a duration of about 56 seconds. If I go to the next slide, 56 seconds and 11 microseconds. Uh, the third one, 56. The fourth one, 56. The fifth one, 56. So uh, once I do that, they are automatically recalculated to fit the particular uh, timeline or length of the audio that you have. You can do other different uh, visual effects. Uh, you can add animations, uh, transitions. Uh, that's 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 a different one, and you can select to apply to all or anything that you want to do. But basically, that's what I want to put for this particular section. And also something else, uh, you can adjust the duration of each slide by selecting it and clicking on Edit and changing the duration from the Edit section to fit the kind of narration or music you want it to fit to. So it's not carved in stone that uh, when you say fit to music, that it all depends on what uh, you've set it to. But all I want you to know is that you can also change this uh, duration right here. Uh, something else before I forget, always remember if you're working to get a high definition video to always set your video in uh, HD, uh, because as you notice, uh, this is the widescreen version and uh, YouTube tends to uh, do the videos in widescreen uh, version. So this will be good for you if you're doing a video for YouTube. So I believe we already have our pictures uh, in form of a slideshow. 
And if we just uh, scroll through, and there goes the next picture. You can always add the animations or the transitions or even anything that you want to to, to spice up to spice up as you can see to spice up your videos you can always add that in between the different videos uh, but that's uh, not for this uh, the purposes of this video is just to do a quick slideshow uh, so that you can see uh, what you can do and uh, once you're satisfied with everything that you're working with uh, that is the audio the slides and everything all you need to do is just come to save movie let's click on uh, the drop down and there are multiple options here but I always say recommended for this project uh, let's say we still go to the desktop we go to H let's just go how to create slideshow with narration let's click save and once I click save it's going to start saving movie and uh, depending on the length of the audio file and the video that you're trying to make and the kind of compression that you're trying to achieve it may take a long or a short time so you may need to go get a cup of coffee or something else but this is the process of creating a slideshow video with narration using windows live movie maker uh, thank you so much for watching and also uh, ron thank you for asking this question uh, so how can you do it put different images at different segments of the audio so that's how you do it uh, like a narrated uh, slideshow so let's give it a couple of seconds so that we can see the final result uh, of uh, our video our slideshow video is almost done saving and uh, as i've mentioned earlier it may take a long time or a short time depending on the length of the audio and the images that you've included and the types of animation you've put and also the strength of your laptop or cpu so please note that in advance so 98 99 percent complete and it's done so your movie slideshow with narration.wmv is done you can play your movie now or open the folder that it's in so we can just click on open folder and here's our video file uh, and we can just double click on it and uh, as i mentioned the widescreen that it creates is a 1920 by 1080 which is high definition uh, that's hd if you can just double click it's going to open with uh, windows media player in this video i'm going to show you how to download we can just check out uh, six to about uh, 53 seconds from YouTube uh, where the transition occurs is that there we go for Windows, so if you are doing a narration Linux, video then so uh, this is what is going to happen version, it will be getting to almost the 56 seconds uh, 56 second mark and then transition to, to the other video uh, that, uh, to the other slide or up. image that you're working and with so uh, pretty much uh, this is a simple and easy process to do using Windows Live Movie Maker uh, and if you're using Windows 10 then the equivalent is Windows Photos uh, I'd like to thank you uh, Ron for asking this question uh, on how to create a narrated slideshow as I've mentioned have your slideshow uh, the slides in an image form uh, and then the narration ready for you to do this particular process uh, thank you so much for watching and until next time stay safe